Uh, so joining me now on the Lewis Nichols Show in his first ever interview as well. Um, I'm really excited to, to bring him on. He's responsible for making a lot of people in a good way uh, cry because of the emotional piece that you you just put out. So let's say hello to Sam Clegg. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thanks. I hope everyone else is good at home. <laughs> well, it must be crazy for you at the moment. We were just talking then. And obviously you put this charity single out there that has just gripped the nation, but you never actually anticipated the kind of it going viral, it becoming big. So um, I wanted to go back to the very beginning, really, which is, did, did you actually write that track? Yeah, I wrote the, the track. I produced it and I sang all the vocals myself. And yeah, I basically did that back in February, January time. Yeah. And it's amazing because it builds up as well in, in the song. What I love about the song is when it almost tells a story and every bit from the middle towards the end, it just gets bigger and bigger. Um, and you put the, the story to it as well, the video, which is about a, a man's bond with his dog. Um, and it's almost kind of like about elderly in isolation. It's just you've really kind of captured 2020 with a song and a video. So um, I wanted to talk about the story. Where did your inspiration for that come from? Tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, basically, um, my family, in my family, we have, like, some elderly people who were, like, isolated, and so I thought, like, I'd tell a story about that, but with a dog and a man, because, like, man's best friend and people like dogs and stuff like that, and um, originally the ending was going to be a happy one, um, but then we thought, the ending that we chose wasn't unhappy, but it was more bittersweet because they were, like, reunited in the end, um, as ghosts but they were still reunited and it just kind of gives hope to people that maybe we'll see people in the afterlife so yeah that was kind of like the main point from the story. And you know, I've seen it on, on Facebook a, a few days ago and when I watched it I didn't because I mean the caption is John Lewis alternative so it's kind of like your interpretation of something different this Christmas um, in regards to an advert and I watched it not knowing what to expect but I didn't expect to just break down in tears because it really is so emotive but in the, not in a bad way at all it, it was really kind of as soon as I watched it the first thing I did was go and hug my dog and just it was almost made me appreciate what I had a little bit more and the fact that you were able to tell that in a, a song and a video is just incredible you must be overwhelmed with the reaction. Yeah I'm, I'm really overwhelmed because obviously there's been a lot of people that I've been like really positive about it and they've seen like the um impact and how we're raising money and everything and then there has been some comments like thinking that it was almost too sad and stuff like that and um, which I can see the point to be honest because obviously it's been a tough year um but actually I did record it back in um February and January before everything kind of went crazy so it was never my intentions to upset anyone, but obviously the reactions must have been positive, to be honest. So yeah, I am really just kind of like overwhelmed with all sides of it because I'm just replying back to comments and stuff and it's kind of just bombarding and yeah, crazy. Well, you're fast approaching two million uh, views now, which is just incredible. Like, and you, you know, that's raising money for the charity. So what, uh, who are the charities that the money's going to? Well, originally it was going all to the Age UK charity. Um, I actually had it on the end of the video, the text saying Age UK, um, but then they contacted me saying like due diligence issues, I couldn't have their name on the video. And some people kind of complained to Age UK and um, saying that it was too emotional for them. So instead I'm going to donate it to several charities which I've researched which will help out the elderly such as Friends of the Elderly and Community Christmas um, because they like give support and help and especially like of the Christmas period which is what's coming up obviously so yeah those charities. Um, I mean you probably wouldn't have anticipated when you uh, put this together but I've seen a lot of messages on YouTube and on social media where actually watching your videos made people want to go out and rescue dogs um, which is a massive kind of cause in itself so that must make you happy that you've gone out there to raise awareness for Age UK and, and things like that however you've now made people want to go out there and, and find a friend in, in an animal and rescue them as well. Well, yeah, I mean, like there was, there is like that two sorts of like aspects to it, whereas like there is that dog part and then there is like the man part to it, like the elderly population, the dogs people, and, and lots of people have been, you know, saying, you know, they're hugging the dogs more and, yeah. you know, keeping them close and appreciating the memories. And also people have said they might do social distancing, like carol singing at Christmas for the elderly. Um, through my video and um, 
And yeah, I've just been blown away because I was looking through like all the messages and it has inspired people to do good, which I'm happy about, to be honest. And the good thing is with this as well, it's introduced you as an artist to people that um, weren't aware of you to, uh, to start with. I mean, I've now been listening to your album um, <laughs> on, on Spotify and it's great because you've got such a powerful way of writing music as well. Um, and your voice is incredible. So that must, for you, uh, you must be happy in a sense where you know your music's getting out there to a huge audience now. Well, yeah, I am happy about that, but I didn't actually expect it to go that way, to be honest. But I mean, as a side effect, it has really helped out. But yeah, I am really happy about that. But yeah, just kind of crazy. My first album I made when I was 19. So obviously it's maybe not as good as my stuff that I can write in the future, but it's still something which I hold dear to my heart. And for people to listen to that, um, you know, it's just incredible. My friends come into the interview now. I don't normally let him in, but since your video, I, I let him in everywhere now. Um, but for you now, how long have you actually worked in music? Like, how long have you done this for? Like, is it kind of recent couple of years? Um, well, actually, I made my first song when I was 12, um, nine and a half years ago, um, which is a long time ago. But, but when I first started out, I had no idea about music or... Um, or anything to do with music, like uh, the music theory side or the production. So my first few songs were a little bit amateur, but I mean, I, you can't actually find them online because I have them privacy because they are a bit embarrassing. Um, but yeah, um, it's been a long process, kind of like nine and a half years. Yeah, what's years. next for you now? Obviously, you've had the success with this. Um, and I said to you, I think it's going to go bigger and bigger because the views are going up ridiculous amounts every kind of hour. So what's next for you now in regards to maybe an album? Have you got anything that's kind of up and coming that you can tell us about? Well, yeah, I do have about eight songs that I've written for my new album, which probably will be coming out next year, maybe towards the end part, because I do obviously like to spend a long time in it. And the songs are only about halfway done. Um, but yeah, I do have a new album in the mix, um, which hopefully a few people will listen to. Um, but yeah, I do have a new album, hopefully coming next year. Well, Sam, it's been an absolute pleasure interviewing you today. Your first ever interview, and I said to you, it's going to be the first of many because I can see where this is going for you. And, and rightly so, you've uh, captured a, a terrible year of you know uncertainty and you put that into a song, a video that's just so emotive. So well done. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, great. Thank you for having me. I mean, it's been awesome. Thank you. Thank you.